Well, it's amazing the reach of the game now. And just to give you an example, one more example of the breadth of interest that there is in this upcoming Q School, we want to introduce you to one more character and what a character he is, all the way from Hyderabad in India. Hi, my name is Dr. Khazar Rauf. I'm from Hyderabad, India, and I'm taking part in this year's Q School. Hyderabad is really a nice city to live in. It's, it's modern, it has a, a very good history. It's not too crowded, so I feel Hyderabad is one of the best cities in India to live in. I've been playing really well since the past two years, and I made a maximum in practice. Then I thought, why not give it a chance? Why not play it with more interest? So I started playing more regularly. I started practicing six, eight hours a day, took the year off from work. Then I heard that Barry Hearn is coming up with the Q School. So I thought, this thing is tailor-made for me and I have to go, no matter what, I have to play at this. I consider myself a good brake builder, as well as my safety is really on par with the best, I think, in India. And above that, other people also consider me a very good match player. I'm capable of pulling out matches when I'm not playing really well. I've been really supported by my father, who's helped me out through this last one year and also to, uh, for my trip to the UK. He sponsored everything, he didn't let me uh, go outside, didn't let me waste my time on uh, finding a sponsor, he just said to practice and do what you want to do. And I also would like to thank my coach, who made me believe that I was really playing world-class snooker and I should give this a really a try. Since the past two, three years, the standard in India has been really high. And even Jimmy White was here uh, a couple of months back. He said he was really surprised to see the standard of snooker in India. I have a six-month-old son. So I think that the hardest part would be staying away from him. But uh, I know my family is behind me, uh, even though they're not with me. But I hope I don't get homesick and I really perform well. To become a doctor is a lot easier than to become a professional snooker player. Other than that, it's really important you have a dream and you are really stubborn about it and you want, really want to achieve that dream. And just to have a dream is not enough. Like every breath you take, every step should be a step towards following that dream. Everything you do in your life, everything you do in your day should be a step forwards towards achieving that dream. Well, fantastic ambitions there for Dr. Rauf. And here he is in the home of snooker, straight off the plane at 12.30 at Manchester and up here for a scintillating session of snooker. Dr. Rauf, how does it feel to be here in the home of the sport? Uh, well, it's called the theatre of the dreams. And uh, when I see it live, it really is the theatre of dreams. What's the difference? You've obviously watched a lot of World Championship action, but this is your first taste of being in there, in the arena, sampling the atmosphere. What's the difference? Uh, well, it seems very big on TV, but uh, it's quite small. And uh, I don't know how it must be feeling with two tables in the arena, but with the one table as it is now, it feels very small. And the crowd really get behind the players. Well, you've certainly seen some very, very high quality snooker. It almost doesn't get much better than this in terms of drama. Are you intimidated by that or is this spurring you on as you, uh, as you watch this stuff and then prepare for your own go at the Q School? Uh, no, it's uh, really inspiring me. I want to play the kind of snooker which I see. And uh, I think I'm Ding's uh, lucky charm because every frame I see of Ding's, he wins it. <laughs> OK, well, it remains to be seen whether you do continue to be lucky. Just what will you be doing off the back end of the championship before your match on uh, May the 13th? Uh, well, I'm here for two months. Uh, I'll be training at the Star Snooker Academy for 10 days prior to the start of the uh, Q School uh, to get used to the conditions. Then after the Q School, I'll be staying on for another month uh, to practice with as many pros as I can. Well, it's a great story. The very best of luck in qualifying and enjoy the rest of the day. We've got a great climax to come in this match. Thanks. Thanks so much. And very, very good luck to him as well. And Stephen and John watching the different kinds of characters that we've got going to Q School. How important a development is this that's being introduced, this Q School in general, Stephen? I think it's a great chance. It's a great idea. And also, not just the new, the new guys that want to get on tour. If the, the guy further down the rankings drop off, they've got a chance to get straight back on again. So it's really good. And in terms of the global appeal, well, Dr. Rauf certainly is, is proof of that, but there must be a whole army of Chinese players who have been inspired by Ding Junwei over the last few years and what he's achieved in the Absolutely. game. Absolutely, and what you need in every country that we're trying to get the snooker into, they need a champion or somebody who can win trophies for them because that makes the development so much easier.